Are you kidding me? What the hell? And fly! Woo! Welcome back, Hubs. My name is Qualicup, and we are back because there is an amazing new GTA 5 vehicle. Okay, let's check it out. Where can we find this? Come on, show me this vehicle. Oh, boy, here it is. Look at this vehicle. What the hell? So, I actually got to play with this vehicle a while back, but now it's here officially. Today, society is broken. We all know who's behind it, but we're afraid to speak out. Hardworking cops, blah, 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 blah. It's pretty much the bad mobile it's three point seven five zero thousand dollars here in gta 5 i don't have enough so i need to buy some more okay okay there we go i just bought some money because that's what i do for you cups and let's put it in the office garage we just spent four million gta dollars on this vehicle it better be good i've heard that it's another vehicle with a booster okay so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fly around real quick. We're gonna go all the way to the maze bank because that's where I keep all my shiznit. And then um, we're gonna we're gonna call this vehicle and we're gonna pimp our ride because that's what we love doing. Also, it seems there are a few new clothes. Let's check those out too. Uh, okay, and all we have to do is jump out right now. So right down below, there's a garage, and that's where our uh, vehicle should be chilling. Okay, and it has been delivered. Let's check it out. The Batmobile. I mean, the Cobmobile. Okay, it doesn't seem to be on the first floor. Maybe uh, one floor up. Let's check it out. Is it on this floor? Yes, it is. Wow. Look at this thing. It's matte black. It has a uh, entrance in the front, which is uh, probably for the rocket engine on the back, I guess. The jet engine. Look at that engine on the back. It has some really big wheels. Let's just get into it and let's pimp this bad boy, right? Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. This thing is amazing. It has a machine gun in the front. Are you kidding me? It can't even make that jump. Come on. <sighs> Ha, there we go. Okay, it made the jump. It has a machine gun in the front. Let, let's pimp it. Let's pimp it. Actually, before we pimp it, let's put on some uh, some some correct clothing. We need to dress up uh, appropriately, okay? If we don't dress up appropriately, nobody's gonna take it seriously that we're actually here trying to fight crime. But look at that. It has the boost, just like the other car. But not only a boost, it has a machine gun too, which you can shoot. Just like that, uh, but we kind of don't want to shoot it because uh, obviously police will come and join us but Look at that. I want to check out the interior in a second too. First, let's get some t-shirts and pimp this bad boy Where are the t-shirts? Are they just t-shirts? I swear I always struggle trying to find the new clothing. Oh, these are the new t-shirts So we have cheerleader massacre Halloween surprise that looks like a cheerleader and she's been massacred Vinewood Zombie and Knife After Dark. Those are the new uh, t-shirts we got. And then the rest was already there. I actually, no joke, own this t-shirt, own this t-shirt, own this t-shirt. In real life, that is. And this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. They're actually really cool. Rockstar sent them to me. So thank you for that, Rockstar. Anyways. We checked out the new t-shirts, which were pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try to pimp this bad boy. Please tell me you are pimpable. Okay, please tell me we can at least change your color. That would be very nice. Let's go. Let's go. I'm Batman. Oh, nope, nope. That, 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 that didn't work. I'm Batman. We're going to be doing this. Batman, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm, done, uh, I'm done pretending to be Batman. This vehicle can only be modified in a weapon and vehicle workshop in the mobile operations center. <gasps> okay, that uh, makes me even happier than I already was. Let's do that. Okay, it's parked around the corner. Uh, cops, what this means is that we can get some pretty badass stuff on our vehicle, okay? Customizing it in a mobile operations center means you can most of the time get weapons on there okay not just only weapons 
but a lot of other really cool things. Are you kidding me? There's a truck behind my mobile operations center. Let's get into the mobile. It cannot even get into the mobile operations center. Let's get in there, cops, and let's upgrade this bad boy. First of all, we have armor. Of course, we're gonna do the best armor we can do. I'm not level 100 yet, so I can't do that one. Brakes, but they don't change the outside of a vehicle. What I kind of want to like change is the guns and the wheels. Okay, we'll get a new engine, sure. Headlights. I don't even see the headlights. This is misleading. The headlights don't actually change. You can have neon on here? Really? Let's get some orange neon. Oh boy, yes! Look at that. We have some nice lights. Okay, we can even switch to first person. Um... Maybe we can change the interior. What do cops think? We have a radar over there. And then obviously just the, the wheel. Okay, well that's cool. Um, let's check out the rest. Respray, we can do that. Suspensions. Let's lower this vehicle as much as we can. Just to make it look a little bit cooler. And let's upgrade the transmission. So, you know, just driving is a lot easier. Turbo, of course. Spending a lot of money. But now, cops. Oh boy, we can have, do you see that? Do you see that in the front, the little red things? We can have missiles on there. They're expensive, but we got them. Obviously we can even upgrade the wheels, make them bulletproof, they're already bulletproof. But we can only change the tire smoke. So we're changing the tire smoke to orange. We can make the windows very uh, tinted, which uh, we definitely should. I mean, we're Batman at the end of the day, am I right? Which leaves us with only one more thing. The crew emblem, which we're not gonna get. We need a nice little... Oh my goodness, that's what Jilly's gonna go with. We need a nice little color. So I'm thinking shiny orange or matte orange, one of them. One of them. I just want to show all the colors to you cops. So this is, this is a red shiny orange. Which looks crazy, for sure. It looks pretty damn intense. Uh, this is one way of doing it. That's now let's compare shiny. this to crew, which is too light. Matte. Matte looks really sick. Matte orange looks intense. But shiny one does have something too. You can go with metals. Uh, there's an orange metal, of course. Can we? Is there a button where you don't? I mean, orange metal does look a little bit cooler than the regular one. Just a little bit. It's a little bit more shiny. But then you also have the full metals and the pearlescent whatever. It gives a nice little tone to the vehicle. So you can make it a little bit wider. You can make it a little bit blue. A little bit orangier. Um, let's go with ice white. Should we go? No, let's go with... Such we can't... Damn it, okay, we can't go with sunshine orange, unfortunately. So we'll just keep it like this. Default, default, no crew emblem. Cops, exit the mobile operations center because we, at the moment, have one of the craziest Batman vehicles in the world. How does this boost? Oh boy, wow, that car flew, that car flew. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my goodness. That's pretty dope. And we can switch between uh, rockets. Rockets. There you go. Uh, machine gun. Come on. Come on. And then we also have lock on rockets. Which uh, obviously didn't lock on there. Because they went underneath the car. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We keep on missing. There we go. Okay, come. So let's test out this bad boy a little bit. We're playing at night because that's when when you're supposed to use this vehicle, of course. You're supposed to use it at night. Is that a police officer? How hard is it to kill these police officers? Is this guy really shooting? Let's test it out. Okay, come on. It's definitely not a very effective car. Uh, a very effective um, means of, like, destruction. It took a while to kill him there, but, uh... Oh! And the rockets can kill yourself too, just so you know. So the vehicle's called the Night Shark, if I believe. And uh, like I said, uh, listen, uh, give me 
Shut up, Lester. Like I said, it's a pretty damn cool vehicle, but we haven't really raced with it. Where is it? It's down here, apparently. Damn it, it's not the night shark. Oh, I'm such an idiot. It's the Vigilante. I should have known. Anyways, the Vigilante is a very strong vehicle. It can only take one rocket, uh, as we just saw. And that could be your own rocket, just so you know. And please be careful with that. I'm not sure if it's bulletproof. And I definitely think we should test out and see if it is bulletproof. Because if it's bulletproof, then... That means we can definitely use it in some pretty cool and dope things. Now, I don't think it would be bulletproof. Um, because it's also not explosive proof. So that would just be a little bit weird. Let's check it out. Here it is. And it fits perfectly in with all our other orange amazing vehicles. Let's take, check it out. Let's see if it's bulletproof. It has bulletproof tires. We know that for a fact, though. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here. And uh, grab one of our guns. Shoot at the windows. Okay, the windows are not bulletproof, which means that the vehicle's probably not bulletproof. Because if the windows aren't bulletproof, then the rest of the vehicle will also not be bulletproof. Now, um, I'm just wondering, should we try to find somebody and... Are you kidding me? How could you do that to us, Rockstar? Not let us make this jump. What the hell? Let's see if we can find some other guys and maybe uh, get a nice little race going with them. Here's another one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, he tried the same. He tried the same. Are you kidding me? What the hell? And fly. Woo! So it has a very short boost. Come on, let's go. We're going to be racing with this guy. It has a very short boost, but it works. Uh, I believe this guy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did that just really happen? Did that just really happen? Okay, anyways, cops. Uh, the boost is short, but it's it's very powerful. Um, the vehicle feels very heavy, and it seems to act that way too because we can we can drive into other vehicles and they'll go flying. They definitely go flying. Now the boost recharge extremely quick, making this a pretty fast vehicle to use. There you go. Uh, you can slam it into other vehicles. And you cannot crash it because if you do, then um, you need the boost to get the speed again. Cops, we're just going to be racing all the way to the top of the map. Where hopefully we can uh, we can find somebody else to maybe race against. If you're asking, like, should I buy this vehicle, Quibble Cup? It's definitely a cool vehicle. It's definitely a vehicle where if you go to a party, you go to a club and you roll up in this bad boy... With this big engine in the back, you know, flamey, flamey engine in the back. You're going to impress some, some people. You're definitely going to impress some people. If you're using it to just, like, get around in GTA, yeah, you can use it. It's not the fastest, but it does the job. Um, but if you're racing with it, definitely shouldn't get it. It's, it's very expensive, um, but it's just really damn cool. It's just really dope to use. It's, it's just... Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Have, we, have you ever seen anything like this in GTA before? It has a machine gun. It has missiles. It's a semi-bulletproof. Look at that. The rockets come out of the roof. Um, let's, uh, let's, see if we can, let's see if we can do that again. Look. The rockets come out like that. And they just take everybody out. Now, I don't know how many rockets there are, though. We should, uh, we should check that out. Just be careful because if you accidentally uh, blow yourself up, you're gonna die, and you're gonna die straight away. It's a strong vehicle, but it's not, uh, it's not very uh, uh, durable, which is uh, something you kind of want to have when you're playing GTA 5. Durable vehicles, are you kidding me, are, nice, uh, are, ni are a nice add-on to the team. But look at that, the fact that we can launch a rocket from all the way over there and accurately like take out the police, it's pretty damn sick. Let's uh, let's do that again. Look at that. The police can't really dodge it if we shoot it from a nice, uh, nice long distance. We have enough time to adjust the rockets and everything will be good. We had a flawless drive to the north of the map. We're just going to stay on the highway. Oh, but those things are very dangerous. We're going to stay on the highway. I'm going to try to use as many rockets as possible. And hopefully, oh, hopefully I, I just damaged myself, by the way. 
Hopefully we can, um, oh, we can figure out how many rockets we have over here. Keep on using the rockets. Uh, do we have unlimited rockets? Do we have a limited amount of rockets? I don't know. Maybe the car didn't blow up earlier. No, it did. It definitely did. We just claimed it. Okay. Um, I have to say, I'm starting to like this vehicle a lot more now that I realized it had quite a lot of rockets. However, the moment I said that, I realized <laughs> we ran out of rockets. Yep. There are no rockets anymore, cops. So now you would have to switch to the minigun, which I believe is uh, pretty damn useless. It is, it, it's, it looks pretty damn useless. Let's keep on shooting and let's keep on shooting some more. Right over there, oh boy, oh boy. Then again, we did just do that where we just totally launched a guy off a cliff. Which is pretty sick. Okay, not many vehicles can do that. So let's see. What about this guy? No, it doesn't always work, but it definitely is possible. Maybe if you manage to get like, maybe if you manage to scoop them a little bit. Yeah, that that worked pretty well. So what about going against traffic? Nah, it sometimes works. It sometimes doesn't work. We got another one over here. Yes, there you go. That guy went flying. We we're very low in health. Because, like I said, the, the, the vehicle is not bulletproof, and um, the police is literally just shooting into our window. But look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? We're also driving on two wheels right now. I forgot we even have a booster which we can use to make people uh, fly in the sky. Let's, uh, let's just drive straight into this right there, and bam! We just set that car flying. We can take him all the way with us if we really want to. And another boost. Let's see. Can we go to the? Uh, can we go to the military airbase? Can we even fly with this thing? Oh yes, we can. And that's also gonna be the end of this vehicle, because I just realized that if we are not fast enough, we are submerged. But we managed to boost out of the uh, out of the water. Let's boost out of it again. Come on, come on. Come on, boost out of the water already, yes! So this vehicle's also uh, all right underwater. That's not bad. And it's all right in the air. I'm starting to like this vehicle a lot, a lot more every single minute. This is, uh, that was pretty sick, actually. That was actually really, really good. Would, would I recommend this vehicle? I definitely think it's uh, quite a lot of fun. Look at that. Just look at that. You could just do so many fun little mini games with this thing. Just go out and let's see who can launch the truck the highest. However, we are on the military airbase and they are kind of looking for us. Can we fly out of the military airbase? Is there like a little ramp we can take? Oh, there actually is a ramp we can take. Let's do this. Come on. <laughs> ah, damn it. Okay, we almost made that. Maybe if we take the second ramp. <laughs> yeah! So you can also fly out of the military base. This vehicle is actually pretty damn sick. You just have to figure out what it does and, you know, the things it can and cannot do. And then use it accordingly. Like the fact that we can fly with another vehicle. I love these rocket vehicles, Rockstar. They're just super dope. I'm just waiting for a flying car now. So if you could just add that, then I would definitely spend 10 million uh, GTA dollars on that. You got, you got my vote. You definitely have my vote. The vehicle is damaged quite a lot, which is fine. We can uh, we can fly some more with it. Races with this vehicle would be pretty dope. Um, however, for flying missions, I still prefer the the uh, yeah the, the rocket Voltic. It's just a little bit cooler. It's it's a little bit lighter. But look at this this amazing Batman vehicle. It's just right over here. The Vigilante. Make sure to get it if you don't have it already. And uh, meanwhile, we're just gonna fly. Look at that! Isn't that sick? Why didn't we fly earlier? Tried to land it. What a nice landing too. Get stuck, come on. Nope, no, definitely didn't get stuck here. Anyways, Cubs, that was this amazing new GTA 5 DLC. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you Cubs tomorrow. Bye-bye.